everyone, this is Rebecca with RebeccasRoadmap.com and in true Laura Casey fashion, I'm going to shoot my Power Sheets video today. And this is more in the line of done is better than perfect because quite frankly, the light could be better. I could have more energy. There's a lot going on that could be better. But I wanted to show you my power sheets before I wrote in them. And I have on my plan to write in them tonight and tomorrow. So now is the time to shoot this video. So if you haven't heard of power sheets, um, they are by Laura Casey and the Cultivate What Matters team. And that is the whole theme to help you focus your goals and cultivate what matters in your life. To work on the goals that you want to work on, the things you want to bring in your life, not necessarily the things that you should, or you feel you should work on in your life. And, um, well, let me, let me open the box and I'll, I'll, I can wax uh, on and on <laughs> a little bit later. Now, I did already open this up last night because, you know, I couldn't wait. Um, but I, it was way too dark to shoot a video. So, I thought I would shoot this. So, it comes in this cute box, Oh Happy Day, with the little Cultivate What Matters. This is their little banner that they have and the little um, two little sprout leaves that is part of their logo. So, I love the yellow. And the lid of the box says... You know all those things you've always wanted to do? You should go do them. I've got a whole list of things that I want to do, and I didn't get hardly any of them done last year. So, um, I bought, she had a special package going that included um, the sticker book, the little pencil pouch, and the Cultivate, um, Cultivate, and the, and the Power Sheets book. So that is what I bought, and I think it ended up being with shipping and everything like a hundred bucks. And uh, it just took a couple days to get to me. They shipped at UPS. So the first thing is the goal setting stickers, and these are awesome. I'm a huge, huge proponent of stickers anyway, but goal setting stickers and a whole book of them that's just like icing on the cake, right? So let's see. Now the whole this whole system, if you want it to be, can be color coded. And I'm a big fan of color coding, so that is why I bought the stickers. And um, she uses a lot of the flare pins. So I did go ahead and, you know, I, I've got some other colors coming because this is all I have left of the pack that I I had, quite frankly, my dog ate some of them. They were on the table, but uh, he, he decided that he needed to eat some flare pins. So I think these will really help me. They're just really simple. We've got the banners. These are little dots of all the colors. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten colors. I think there's ten different spots where you can um, set goals. More dots, more dots. I really like dot stickers. Heart stickers. Um, starting steps for your goals. Little bill do appointment, other little things that you might need to note. Some cute clocks. I guess I could have taken those all out of the box before I started flipping these, but I saw stickers and then that this I stopped right there. Um, let's see, power sheet prep. So you can put in your calendar to remind you to actually work in your power sheets book. Date night, due date, date night, day off because you need to rest. Adventure, I'm planning some adventures for this next year. Rest. Let's see, and these are just a lot of fun stickers and more like tracking stickers. Grateful, top priority. 
And these have some of the old foil on them. Must do and top priority and make it happen. I made progress because that's what you need to do. You need to make progress on your goals. All these little baby steps add up. Let's see, celebrate everyday life. We got travel. I think these are high fives. I've heard people say a couple of different things. So what do y'all think those are? They're little hands with little dashes up there. And a high five, maybe one, maybe they're clapping. I'm not sure. Maybe they're clapping. Okay, y'all tell me what you think they are. <laughs> let's see. And let's see, wellness, celebrate. That's something I'm really bad at. I'm like finish something and then just want to get started on the next thing. I don't take time to celebrate. And we've got just some, I'm not sure what that little sticky thing is right there. Kind of weird. Okay. Um, some holiday stickers. Motivation stickers. And that's it. So really love that. I really love that it kind of lays flat like that too. So I will be putting that in my little pencil pouch. Let's see. I probably put these back in the thing in the wrong order, but you know, that's what. So I think I'm, maybe they're in the, okay. I think there's a couple of um, little postcards. Um, the best things in life are cultivated little by little. And that's the team. This is the pencil pouch. Now, I was not going to order the pencil pouch because I am not a big pencil pouch girl. In fact, I don't have any pencil pouches, I don't think. But I was thinking, if I have this, I can put my stickers and I can put my flare pens that I'm using for my color coordinating um, or color, co color coding. <laughs> Sorry keep everything together because this little elastic will actually fit around the power sheets so that's what I'm thinking and that's why I bought this in the bundle it was just like seven dollars or something like that more than if I bought just the stickers and the planner which is what my um, first inclination was okay. you have everything you need let's do this all right, so Laura, I'm trusting that I have everything I need and I'm ready to get started. Okay, so this is the actual power sheets and it is in bubble wrap and in another piece of plastic. And she has this again, you know, all of those things you've always wanted to do, you should go do them. Now they had four covers and I was really dithering between this pink and orange one and the multicolored one. There's also a mostly yellow one and a mostly tilt one. And I just went with my gut and got the orange and pink one. Now what I did know, <laughs> well she has this little quiz on her website. And I, so I went ahead and took the quiz just to see um, which planner it told me I should get or which cover, because the insides are all the same. And this is the one it actually told me to get, so I thought that was kind of fun. Um, and the multicolor one actually kind of looks like this. So I just liked the pink better. All right, let's see. This is where the extra things are. Okay. And this does have a plastic coil, and this is kind of a plasticky, I think somebody said it was like kind of almost like a kid's placemat y kind of a thing, but it's a, like a plastic cover. And then here she's got this again that you could possibly frame if you wanted to. Or it's a postcard, you can send it to somebody else. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and this is the word of the year, so you can write your word of the year there and post it somewhere so you can see it. And let's do this. Maybe that's the 2019 theme. Let's do this. So then you come to the beginning of the power sheets. See, so what do you want to cultivate? 
You've got three sections, the Power Sheets Prep, and Laura's got, I think, five part um, video, or maybe it's six, on her website, um, Cultivate What Matters that works you through or walks you through the power sheets prep and the intentional action plans. This is why I bought this because I, I set my goals and I worked toward my goals, but my action plans were not detailed enough or maybe I didn't break things down into small enough pieces. So I'm hoping that this is going to help me with my action plans. And then the monthly tending pages, that's kind of your monthly to-dos, things you want to do, taken from um, your action plans. So, this is, if I didn't say it, my first year with Power Sheets. And I, I'm so excited. I'm just ready to get my flare pins out and get going on these. So, what if today is that day that changes everything? So, you put your name and the date you start. It's time to flourish. And she's got a little sampler of the stickers here in the front. And I love that she moved this to the front because I'm so bad about buying planners with stickers in the back and I don't use them. They, they end up sitting there. So I really think that, uh, that those will get used. So we've got like brainstorming, and then these are all the prep sheets. Getting to know me, who am I? This is kind of how you rate your life. And she has these broken into eight categories. And she has room for 10 goals, but she's got eight categories. Health, friends, um, your significant other, family, finances, work, spiritual, personal growth, and recreation. So in theory, you can make these categories anything you want but that's, that's what she's got. And she's got room for, like I said, I think 10, 10 goals that you can color coordinate throughout. If you want that many, you don't have to have that many. Uh, maybe you don't have a goal for um, work or for finances for this period in your life. Maybe that's going fine and you wanna concentrate on other things. That's totally acceptable. Okay, letting go of things. Let's see. Meet your fears. Fear, I don't know about you guys, but fear holds me back all the time. Fear is a big problem of mine. And that's another reason why I liked the, liked the power sheets because she didn't hide from fear. She addressed it and um, encouraged you to face it and work through it. So I thought that was kind of cool. Okay. Let's see what you learned, what you're saying no to, what you're saying yes to. I get you excited. Big picture. Cultivate what matters. Think about what matters most to you. My purposeful year. And I haven't really um, looked through this, so this is my first glance too. Um, goals. Grow what matters one step at a time, little by little, your seeds will grow. And it's okay to grow slow. I think we try to take on too much and do too much and then we get burned out and then we don't do anything. So it's better to do something smaller that you know you can do and build momentum with that rather than trying to do too much at one time and not get anything done. Um, so I think this is something new she said this year, looking for the thread. So all the things that you wrote, go back and look through and see um, the commonalities what common threads are worked through whatever it is that you wrote down. And those are the things that um, you're gonna turn into your goals. So this is a section where you can put your goals in. Like I said, she's got two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry, I lied. There's eight, there's eight sections here. Let's see, let me, let me see. Oh, this is where you simplify your goals and then break it down into eight. You kind of combine things that are like, let's see. She talks about, you know, what season are you living in? And this is where you start your action plan. So breaking those big goals. So this is your big picture goal one. And then your why. 
some notes here, and this is kind of where you're starting. So let's see. Okay, so there were only eight on that other sheet, but there are there are ten action plans. And this is where you take those simplified goals and you color code them here with the banner stickers and write them. So there there is room for ten. I guess the simplified goal sheet with the eight uh, was referring back to the eight different categories that she had. So here's a yearly overview. Let's see. So take all of your starting steps and goal planning ideas and sketch them out on this yearly overview. This is a place to make, make sure you're not growing too much at once in each month or season. Space out your mini goals and action steps over time so that everything has room to flourish. So this is so you can lay everything out and see the whole year at a glance and make sure you're not doing too much. Let's see. You can't do it all. Progress, not perfection. And then it starts the month of January. So let it go. Let it go. What's stressing me out? My fears. I'm hopeful. Prepare. Um, make what matters happen this month. Then she's got the tending tips here, and I think this is only on the first month, and then this is the tending list. This is where the magic happens. You put everything in basically that you are wanting to tend to for the month. So you've got your monthly action items. Those are from your action lists that you um, created from your goals. Then you've got your weekly action items, and then daily action items and habits to help you um, to help you accomplish these goals. And then she's got progress bar um, here for your monthly things. And then I guess this is like check off your weekly goals, your weekly action items. And then this is 31 days. So this is like a habit tracker. So you've got tracking for your monthly, weekly, and for your daily items. So that's pretty cool. And this is perforated so you could um, tear this out and put it in a different planner. There's nothing on the back if you wanted to. And then you've got your monthly review. I like how this is kind of compact. So I've got several other um, things that are like weekly review, monthly review and stuff. This just seems simpler and easier. And then you go to February. So that is the same thing. Let's see until you get to, I'm sorry, the lighting is really bad, spring here. So you've got um, goals, January, February, March, and then you start spring. So this is like a quarterly check-in, and each one is a little bit different. For spring, it's clear the clutter, clutter which makes sense for spring cleaning. You want to revise your goals, see what's working, what's network, net see what is working and what's not working and if you want to change your word or have a word for the next three months you can put it there so this is just your goals refresh and then you start back into the next quarter the next three months and then you've got a summer check-in that is have a fruitful summer same thing and then you've got your summer months and then you've got your fall check-in says savoring cultivates contentment so what are you savoring for the fall season and then you've got the last three months let's see if there's anything at the very end your month in review and then celebrating so a highlight from each month and I think somebody had a very good idea that you really should fill this in as <laughs> As you go through the year, don't wait till the end of the year because you probably are not going to remember what happened. Because I, I know, I forget. Um, but that is like, you get to the end of the year, you can really look back and see all of your wins. So that is the Power Sheets 2019. And this is the pink and orange cover. It's really just called the pink cover, but um, I, I like the pink orange combination if you haven't figured that out yet. So. 
This is where I'm starting with my goal setting for this year. I'm going to get my power sheets, get my flare pens, maybe get some scratch paper with notes because as I've been thinking of things, I've been taking little notes. So I've got about like a bunch of post-it notes in my planner of things that um, I, I thought of that I wanted to include this year. That, that may or may not happen, but I wanted to write them down so I didn't forget them. Um, because I guess I, when I start something like this, I kind of feel the pressure to get it right. And uh, like, I, I don't want to forget a big goal. <laughs> but again, walking through the prep week of the power sheets helps you figure out and make sure that you aren't forgetting a big goal, um, that you aren't forgetting something important. And um, I guess letting you know that it's okay, that you can let go of some of those things that are on your should list, but that don't really matter to you. So I'm very excited to get started with this. And as I am working in here and getting these things sorted out, I will do some other videos so you guys can kind of see what's going on with these. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I will link Laura's videos of getting started and where you can buy the power sheets if you're interested. So I think that um, while they seem a little expensive on the front end, I think if you have something that will help you stick to your goals, that, uh, that it's really worth the investment in yourself and in your time. So I'm really grateful that I stumbled across these. I shouldn't say stumbled across them. I've seen these, but I never really took a hard look at them. I've tried out a couple other different goal setting systems that, you know, I got things done, but I really think that this will help me narrow and focus in on the things that I want to cultivate in my life, which was the whole purpose, right? So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.